Depot's middleweight champ Rocky Graziano faces Tony Gennaro on the comeback trail. New York City, 31st of March, 1950. Here we go, Gennaro wearing the white trunks, Rocky Graziano the black. This is a battle between boxer and slugger. The Ohio youngster, a masterful lad at handling his gloves, and Rocky, of course, an overpowering guy at belting a man out. Graziano, as usual, is slightly heavier than his opponent. As a matter of fact, he's seven pounds heavier, and at 28, he's five years older. De Niro, blonde, wears his hair rather long for a boxer. Very flashy boxer. Very deft with his footwork. Digs and jabs well and crosses his right. He's moving around trying to show up by contrast that Rocky is not as clever as he is or as excellent a boxer. Rocky has that determined glint and a large crowd behind him hoping that he'll land that bombshell on Gennaro's chin. You can see those flashlight bulbs popping. Large crowd of photographers and reporters here. Good crowd on hand in Madison Square Garden because this is a good, colorful fight. The bomber versus the boxer. The referee is George Walsh. Beautiful shellacking by um, Gennaro and Rocky fighting back. Very fine action here in the opening round. Wets the appetite of the fans. Toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging as the crowd in the background applauding. Gennaro trying to hold him off with his gloves. Rocky bores in. Fine plastering as we come to the end of round one here in Madison Square Garden. This is round five. And Rocky Graziano is still the aggressor. He's still the hard-punching terror from Flatbush. But Gennaro in white is matching his brain against Rocky's brawn. Graziano is aware that he's up against a very tough customer. And also a very clever boxer who feints him into clumsy leads, has him swinging off balance and floundering around. Ghost-like, he moves away and the crowd appreciates this. As he moves away, he sometimes causes Rocky to flounder forward off balance. Doing a fancy dance stunt with his gloves. Anything to get Rocky wild and annoy him. Rocky shoots punches from all directions when he does fire a right and doesn't mind looking foolish when he misses. De Niro backing away, slapping his gloves, acting very fancy. Trying to goad his man on. And he's down, but not a knockdown. That was just one of those floundering shots. As the rosin dust cleaned off his gloves, and he's back in action. De Niro feeling very superior at this point. As we come near the end of round five in Madison Square Garden. Round six, and Gennaro's wearing the white trunks. He's beginning to tire just a little. He's not quite as fast on his feet. His jab doesn't have quite the sparkle and zip. It's no easy job holding a rugged young bull like Graziano at bay. Rocky, bobbing and weaving, crouching, is constantly on the offense, and he's ready to bring his deadly right fist up from the floor. He can come from all angles with that. Crowd is enjoying it here at the garden. A packed house tonight.
Rocky and Tony both have their rooters. Those who admire fancy boxers are cheering the Ohio boy. Those who like the Jack Dempsey type of sluggers are for Rocky Graziano. Pulling up his trunks, moving back, holding the ropes. All the tricks he's using to stall, get his man off balance as we come near the end of round six. Now we are in the eighth round, and there's no let up for Gennaro. He's taken some of the hardest blows that Graziano could throw at him, and he's still in there, boxing prettily, fighting back, and he's managed to keep it a pretty close fight. trying to get uh, Rocky to charge forward again and then step aside to see if he can get Rocky to slip to the canvas again as he did in the earlier rounds. Rocky a little better balanced, shortening his punches in this round. His rooters are yelling for him to put his man away. They want to see a knockout. A fine crowd here at the Garden. now and then feather dusting him with his left just to annoy him keeping his glove in his face rubbing it around referee is warning Rocky Rocky missed with a right but a left and he did score very well there very good action Rocky moves in anything goes in the clinches says Rocky rabbit punches and all pushes him back off balance. That's a good trick of Gennaro's. That slight push as we come near the end of the round. And now for the final round. This is always interesting in any fight of this ring classic particularly. Tony Gennaro is making the greatest fight of his career. Uh, Tony not only is still staying with Graziano, he's giving the immortal Rocky a lesson in boxing. He's actually out fighting the famed New York slugger in toe-to-toe -to -toe matches, but Rocky is fighting back. Two real rugged babies here in the garden coming into the home stretch. Referee George Walt parts him again. He's been talking to them all night. But it's been an unusually clean fight considering the contestants. Crowd applauding and having taken sides, rooting for their favorite, which is their privilege. With a busy left hand, trying to hold his man off sometimes by putting the palm of his glove on Rocky's forehead. Rocky banging him with rabbit punches. The referee is talking to him about it. Rocky goes right back and rabbit punches again. It's all in a night's work for Rocky. Tony's rooters feel he's done an excellent job at staving off a paralyzing puncher. Stepping in close and weaving away sometimes from knockout punches by a fraction of an inch. It's in this toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging that has the crowd in the background yelling and jumping and up and down in their seats. Beautiful left hook caught Rocky coming in there. Now Rocky catches his man with a fine body shot. Both absorbing a lot of punishment. Here in the tenth round at the garden and out to the right of the picture went a mouthpiece. It's still there on the canvas behind them from the force of the blow. And Gennaro is yelling to his corner that he lost his mouthpiece. The referee picks it up and flips it over to the corner. As we come into the final seconds of round 10, and a fervent embrace and a handshake, the big crowd saw an unforgettable fight, brilliant boxing by Gennaro, savage punching by Graziano, and after 10 rounds of some of the finest fighting ever displayed in New York, the official decision makes it a draw, one of the great fights in middleweight history.